hi in this video i'm going to show you how to test optical plus so i'm going to show you how to test a four pin optical plus as you can see in this motherboard so the optical plus contain inside it two components a photo transistor and a diode basically this is the pin number one here marked with this triangle here we have another optocoupler as you can see we have here one means this is the pin number one okay always the pin number one and pin number two connected to the diode and pin number four and three connected to the photo transistor here basically we have a six pin optocoupler as you can see with six pins okay so always the pin number one pin number two are connected to the diode and here the pin number four and pin number five are connected to the photo transistor so i'm going to show you right now a real optocoupler a six pin optocoupler as you can see here we have this optocoupler with six pins basically this is a cny 17f-2 as you can see this is its reference basically if you have a bad optocoupler you should always replace it with another opto isolator or optocoupler with the same reference so the pin number one connected to the anode and pin number two connected to the cathode of the diode and over here we have of course the photo transistor basically the pin number three connected to the emitter and pin number four connected to collector so here we have as you can see one is the anode two cathode three emitter and four collector so basically to test this kind of tocoupler we should always find between pin number one and pin number two of the diode we should find about 1000 or 1100 drop voltage and of course between pin three and pin four you should not find anything so right now i'm going to show you how to test this optocoupler using the multimeter so here we have the multimeter we gonna select of course the diode option as you can see here the diode option and we gonna see press the power button so let's check this first optocoupler here we have basically a four pin optocouplers so always the pin number one and pin number two are connected to die to the diode if we test between pin number one and pin number two we should find about 1000 or 1100 or 200 draw voltage so if we find that value means the optocoupler is good so as you can see here we have the pin number one and pin number two and over here we have the photo transistor in pin number three and pin number four so here we have the pin number one so we're gonna put the red probe of the multimeter in the pin number one means the anode and the black probe in pin number two we should get as you can see about 1000 1100 means this is a good diode over here okay this is the right value okay so if we swap the probes we should not find anything in the multimeter so let's check right now by swapping the probes nothing in the multimeter means this is a good optocoupler basically but we still need to check the other pins the pin number three and pin number four so basically by testing pin number three and pin number four we should not find anything in the multimeter okay because the pin number three is the emitter and pin number four is the collector of the transistor so let's check nothing in the multimeter means this is a good opto isolator so this optocoupler basically is a good optocoupler because we find about 1000 between pin number one and pin number two 
and we didn't find anything in P number 3 and P number 4 means this is a serviceable optical blur. But if you find a continuity or a buzzer means the optical blur is shorted, you should replace it. So if you find a continuity or a buzzer between the pins of this optical blur means the optical blur is bad or shorted. You should replace it with another optical blur with the same reference. So let's check another optical blur using the same working principle. So here, as you can see, we should always locate first the pin number one. So the, the pin number one is the R naught and the pin number to a scatter. So P number one and P number two are connected to the diode. So by testing it using the same working principle, we should find about 1100 drop voltage. So of course, we gonna put the root probe of the multimeter in the anode or in the P number one of the optocoupler and the black probe in the second pin. Here we have 1300, means this is a good optocoupler, okay? If you get a short or a buzzer, means the optocoupler is shorted, should replace it. But now we get about, about 1000, okay? Always there is a tolerance, so 1000, 1100, or 200, no problem, or even 300, okay? So by swapping the probes, we didn't get anything, it means the diode inside the, opto the optocoupler is a good diode. Now, let's see, test or check the other pins, so the pins that is connected to the fault transistor, we should not get anything in the multimeter, as you can see. Nothing in the multimeter. Means also this optocoupler, okay, is a good optocoupler, as you can see. Now I'm going to show you how to test a 5-pin or a 6-pin optocoupler using basically using, of course, the same working principle. Always the pin number one and pin number two are connected to the f to, to the diode. But here, the pin number three is not connected. No connection. And the pin number six also no connection. Here, the pin number four and pin na number five are the pins that are connected to the transistor. So sometimes you can find that the pin number six is connected to the base of the phototransistor. In others, the pin number 6 are not connected. Okay, so we gonna check the first pin and the second, and of course the fourth pin and the fifth pin of this optocoupler, of course. So let's begin. So of course we gonna put the multimeter to the dial option. So here, as you can see, always you should locate the first pin. So this is the first pin here, as you can see, this is the first pin. You should put the red probe in the first pin and the black probe in the second pin. Here we get about 1300, means this is a good diode. If we swap the probes, nothing in the multimeter, means diode inside this optocoupler is a good diode. So we're gonna check right now the pin number 4 and the pin number 5, those pins are connected to the fault transistor. We should not get anything in the multimeter. As you can see here in the multimeter, nothing. Means also this is a good optocoupler. Okay? So if you find any short or buzzer, means the optocoupler is failed. You should always replace it with another optocoupler with the same reference. So you can look for the data sheet of any optocoupler you want just using its reference. For example, let's look for this reference CNY17F. So you can just type it in Google and pick the first result as you can see. And here we go. Here we have many references. We can check the right reference, as you can see, we have here a six-pin optocouplers for power supply applications, okay?
as you can see we have our, the right the same part number we can just click to pd file as you can see and then click download as you can see we have here download click also here and here we go we have the pd file so you can read the pd file here in this site or as you can see this is the six pin optical for power supply applications here of course you can download this pd file to your computer or you can just read it here in this website as you can see you have here application this is for power supply regulators digital logic inputs microprocessor inputs appliance sensor systems and so on this is basically the same schematic that we have seen before we have here two components inside it this is the diode connected to the pin number one pin number two here we have do as you can see the photo transistor as you can see okay the same working principle and of course in this data sheet file you can look for the working conditions like temperature other features other characteristics and so on